okay now let us start to this class okay as we have learned how to do the integration by applying the direct formulas or if in the place of x there is ax plus b then we studied regarding such concept yesterday okay we completed 7.1 ncrt textbook exercise now let us move to the next topic today's topic is integration by substitution today's topic is integration integration by substitution what it means what is the english meaning for substitution it means that we have to consider some part of we have to consider some part of function as some new variable so we have to consider some part of the function as in terms of t p q like that it we why we have to consider is we cannot directly integrate the such uh, some functions we cannot directly integrate the some function for our convenience we have to consider some part of function as t and convert the total function in terms of t we cannot integrate directly so we are considering some part of function as t we are considering some part of function as t and converting the given function totally in terms of t we are converting the given function totally in terms of t and we are making the uh, we are converting the function into a comfort way which is easy for integration we are converting the function in terms of another variable which which is easy for integration which is easy for integration okay i will take you i will take an example and i will say you huh? see the question here exercise 7.2 first question observe here carefully integral 2x by 1 plus x square integral 2x by 1 plus x square actually there is no any formula for this kind of functions yesterday in total 16 formulas there is no no formula will be useful for solving of this kind of functions here one thing we have to do before going to this concept you should be thorough with derivatives here we require formulas of derivatives also here we require the formulas of derivatives also see here what we have to do is why we are applying this process we are applying this process because we cannot solve the integration directly we cannot solve the integration directly so we are considering some part of function as uh, we, we are considering some part of function as t p as it's your convenient right? and we are converting the total function in terms of new variable we are converting total function in terms of new variable why we are converting we are converting because we are making we are converting the function into new uh, function in another variable which whose integration is easy whose integration is easy see here um, here which part of function you have to consider as t which part of function we have to consider as in terms of new variable or in terms of t it is very crucial it is very crucial see here let us assume if we consider if we consider 1 plus x square 1 plus x square as t let us assume if it is not working out we will consider some other as x t okay now let us assume that if we consider 1 plus x square as t what will happen uh, now in the uh, two derivative on both sides with respect to the variables one derivative is zero what is the derivative of x square it is 2x it is 2x what is the derivative of t what is the derivative of t it is dt keep it in mind hello keep it in mind that here we are doing derivatives on both sides with respect to variables with respect to variable here the variable is x here the variable is t here with respect to x we are doing so it will be dx it will be dx here we are not doing on both sides with respect to x with respect to corresponding variables we are doing the derivative what is the derivative of 1 it is 0 what is the derivative of x square it is 2x dx it is 2x dx one second see here we are considering 1 plus x square as t 
we are applying derivative on both sides with respect to variables what is the derivative of 1 it is 0 what is the derivative of x square it is 2x what is derivative of t with respect to t it is dt with this dt see here yeah? i consider 1 plus x square as t and i got 2x dx i got 2x dx equals to dt now this total thing it will be equals to dt this total thing it will be equals to dt next upon 1 plus x square it is equals to t 1 plus x square it is equals to t see here it is of the form 1 by t dt integral 1 by t dt in which form it is in yesterday 16 formulas it is of which form 1 by x dx 1 by x dx see here integral 1 by x dx what it is it is log x it is log x plus integral 1 by x dx it is log x plus c it is of the same form 1 by t dt 1 by x dx it is log x 1 by t dt it is log t it is log t see here huh? actually the question was in terms of x actually the question was in terms of x and asked for integration it is difficult to integrate it is difficult for the process of integration we are converting the total function hence the given function is, is difficult to integrate it is difficult to integrate we are thinking some part of function we are thinking some part of function as t that's why the name substitution at k by the name substitution at k for this process because for some part of function we are considering it as t it means we are substituting uh, in this function 1 plus x square we consider as t if 1 plus x square is considered as t derivative uh, apply derivative on both sides with respect to variables not with respect to x sum with respect to variables what is derivative of 1 it is 0 what is derivative of x square it is 2x into dx equals derivative of t it is dt now in the given function 2x dx it will be equals to dt it is equals to dt 1 plus x square it is equals to t keep it in mind what thing you have to consider as x when this process uh, came while so solving through this process the main thing you have to consider is which part of function which part of function you have to consider as t two things you have to keep in mind you should consider such part as t which makes you bring a function which is easy to integrate which is easy to integrate and second thing the total function should be in terms of new variable some in terms of t some in terms of x you should not do like that these two things you have to keep it in mind what are the two things you have, consider, you have to consider such part of function as t which which makes you to get a function which makes you to get which is easy for integration which converts the function which is easy for integration easy for integration and second thing which makes you convert the total function total function in terms of t total function in terms of t these two you have to keep it in mind so here log t plus why we are considering t in question there is no t but we are considering something and we got the answer in terms of t actually question is in terms of x so we should give the answer also in terms of x what is the relation between x and t what is the relation between x and t this is a relation 1 plus x square equals to t in the place of t substitute log 1 plus x square log 1 plus x square plus this is integral constant this is integral constant see here why the process uh, what is the uh, for this process it is said to be integration by substitution why the name came substitution is we are considering some part of function as t and converting the total function in terms of t and after integration again in the place of t we are writing the 
what we consider as t and the answer will also be in terms of x okay see here this is the process keep here you have the you have to judge which thing we have to consider as t which thing you have to consider as t for that two concepts you should be in your mind first concept which is the thing which you consider it will make the convert into easy integrable easy integrable and second thing is the total function should convert in terms of new variable the total function should convert in terms of new variable see see it and here one more thing here why should you like this with respect to variables you have to do with respect to variables you have to do okay in the total sum the important thing is which thing you have to consider as t two things first thing is you should consider such a thing as t which is which makes you easy for integration next second thing is the total function should convert in terms of t okay total function should convert in terms of t. okay see here now let us move to second question Come on. How you will get idea is okay. We after solving two three questions, I will again I will say you are next. See the next question. Log x whole square by x dx. Log x whole square by x dx. See here. Is there any direct for direct method to integrate? Is there any formula re relating to this in yesterday formula? Which no, we cannot find. Okay, so we will consider something as x, something as t, and we will convert the total function in terms of t. Okay. Now, what is the best thing to consider as t? What is the best thing to consider as t? Suppose if we consider log x, log x. As t now integrate with uh, now do derivative with respect to variables on both sides now do derivative with respect to variables on both sides here you will get one by x dx one by x dx equals to dt one by x dx equals to dt see here dx by x dx by x in the place of dx by x we can put dt we can put dt in the place of log x we can put t in the place of log x we can put t hence the total function was converting in terms of the total function was converting in terms of new variable t the total function was converting in terms of new variable see here t square log x in the place of log x you can put t t square dx it is dt dx it is dt see here it is of which kind it is of the form integral x square x power n dx it is of the form integral integral x power n dx t power 2 dt what is the formula for this x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c integral n plus 1 by n plus 1 now for this it is after applying the integration formula or after applying integration you should remove the symbol integral uh, integral operator what it will answer for this 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c if integral vanishes c will come okay t power 3 by 3 plus c t power 3 by 3 plus c in the place of t the question was in terms of x by uh, how can be the answer in terms of t so what is the relation between x and t this is the relation log x equals to t in the place of t put log x log x power 3 by 3 plus c log x power 3 by 3 plus c See the steps here. Here we consider log x as t and converted total function in terms of t. 
what is the reason for converting it is easy to do. next after converting it will it will it is it was of the form integral x power n dx what is the formula for x power n dx it is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for t power 2 dt it is t power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 hence the question was in terms of x how can be the answer in terms of t so convert the answer in terms of x what is the relation between x and t that is a given relation okay but see here after applying the integral integration or op this operator it will vanish and c will come here next next sum 7.2 third sum x is 7.2 third sum c integral 1 by x x log x x plus x plus sorry, x plus x log x dx integral 1 by x plus x log x dx see here Amma. let us assume Amma. assume something as t don't directly substitute assume something as t and to do calculation up to one two steps in mind whether the given function was converting totally in terms of t or not then only you proceed okay see here Amma, if we directly we cannot assume anything if we take x common here if we take x common here 1 by x x common here x into 1 plus log x 1 plus log x as t 1 plus log x as t you will get 1 by x dx then dx by x it will become dt and total can be convertible in terms of t total terms it can be convertible convert in terms of t see here 1 by see here 1 by I consider 1 plus log x has t from where I got this log 1 plus log x take x common here if I take x common here you will get x into 1 plus log x I will get here x into 1 plus log x apply derivative on both sides with respect to variable apply derivative on both sides with respect to variable I will get here 1 by x dx equals to dt 1 by x dx equals to dt dx by x dx by x it is dt see here otherwise I will go one more step on dx x take x common dx by x it is dt 1 plus log x it is t see here it is easy for us to integrate integral dt by t it is of the form integral 1 by x it is of the form integral 1 by x what is the integration of 1 by x it is log x it is log x see here log t plus c log t plus c in the place of t what you have to substitute log 1 plus log x log 1 plus log x log 1 plus log x go through the steps some here ma take x common if we take x common we will get 1 plus log x consider that thing as t then total will be convertible ok and it is t total converted in terms of t take 1 plus log x as t 1 plus log x as t ok next but 
Next. Sin x, sin of cos x, sin of cos x, sin x into sin of cos x dx. See here, sin of cos x, you bring sin x this side, sin x dx, okay, assume here, you just calculate it in your mind if we think sin x as cos x as t if we think cos x as t and derivative on both sides we will get minus sin x dx equals to dt yes or no? see here if we think cos x as t what is the derivative with respect to variable on both sides it is minus sin x dx equals to dt if you consider cos x as t applying derivative on both sides with respect to variables we will get minus sin x dx equals to dt see here already sin x dx is there see here something what we came here it will not be exact here i have to here directly we have to so little, if there is little bit changes in constant you can adjust it you can adjust it here sin x dx it is equals to dt see i was convert the following totally in terms of t in the place of cos x we put t and in the place of sin x dx minus sin x dx it is dt minus sin x dx it is dt what is sin x dx it is minus dt it is in the place it is minus dt sin x dx minus sin x dx dt sin x dx it is minus dt My, in the place of sin x dx in the place of cos x i am substituting t in the place of cos x i am substituting t sin t minus dt minus it is constant you can take it out integral sin t dt observe the step here minus you can take it out integral sin t dt it is of the form integral sin x dx it is of the form sin x dx what is the integration of sin x dx what is the integration of sin x dx it is minus cos x it is minus cos x integration of sin x dx it is minus cos x here also it is minus of minus minus and that minus will get cancelled it will be cos t it will be cos t plus c it will be ma, sin t it is minus cos t sin x minus cos x for sin t it is minus cos t minus minus get cancelled cos t hence cos of cos x cos of cos x plus c. cos of cos x plus c okay see the steps here
stuck to my mask. See here. Here what? Here what thing we have to consider as x uh, t here. See here. Let us assume if we consider the thing which is 